Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Uh, today uh, we are talking about the pericardial effusion detection and differentiation of pericardial effusion from the pleural effusion and, uh, and fat pad and other tips. As you know, the window choice uh, uh, window choice for the detecting pericardial effusion is generally subcostal because we have a liver as a window and it helps you uh, get better image clear. But as you know, many patients, they don't have subcostal and based on the gravity and look position of the patient, the amount of the fluid, we just don't uh, satisfy only with subcostal detection. We always go uh, detect all other uh, window. The best window for uh, differentiated of uh, pleural effusion from pericardial effusion is uh, parasternal long axis and short axis. Before that, first we have to uh, differentiate uh, pericardial effusion from fat pad. As you see on these plaques, on here, there is some hypoecho area anterior to the RVOT. This is free wall of RVOT. And here we have pericardium parietal. So there is some hypoecho or mid gray hypoecho structure. This is fat pad. Sometime uh, fat pad has uh, completely hypoecho uh, and it may confuse some tech, take it as a pericardial effusion. For uh, detecting uh, this matter, just put color over this area, decrease your color scale around 30 to 40. If uh, there is any fluid, you can see flow on that area. Otherwise, go zoom on it, optimize it, decrease gain, increase gain. You can see very easy. Beside of that, you go the other uh, location too. Here at the posterior, you can see two layer of pericardium, parietal and visceral. If you zoom it, you can see they are sliding over each other. You can see, okay, here we don't have uh, fluid or trace. It's very really small trace. As you notice here, you can see a prominent coronary sinus on this patient. Here we have aortic thoracic descending short axis. Here another case for the pericardial fat pad, small, you can see here. Again, you can detect those two layer of pericardium trace or trivial amount of the fluid you can see here, not more than that. Or on this uh, subcostal, you can appreciate the pericardial fat pad very thick. Don't be confused with free wall of right ventricle. We have fluid around and this is uh, pericardial fat pad. After, now let's see how we differentiate it uh, pericardial effusion from pleural effusion and how we grade it.